In this how to we are going to learn how to delete multiple selected records from the grid view. This is particularly useful when you are displaying lot many records uh, to the user and user wanted to delete multiple records uh, by selecting them uh, using the checkbox. So I am going to uh, show you how to do that. So for that purpose what I have done is that I have uh, uh, I have a grid view on the ASPX page and along with that we have a button also. So here is uh, the grid view code. Let me copy paste on the ASPX page and let me format it out. Okay, now here you can see that this is the grid view we have and uh, in this grid view we have written auto generate column equal to false because I want to uh, write the column explicitly and the main thing here is the data key names. So data key names is auto id. So naturally because auto id is the primary key of my uh, database table. And then because we uh, want to provide option to the user to select the record so that's why my first column is the select column where I have kept one checkbox. And then remaining column is an you know, auto id first name last name and is active. That's fine. Now let me copy paste the uh, server side code. So here is my server side code. So it goes here and then we have little more code I'm going to explain them here now let me just correct this looks like there is some problem in this code yes okay this also and this also now let me arrange them Okay, so now I have also aligned, so now it is really looking nice. Now let me explain the code from the top of the page. So here is uh, first we have underscore con str page label variable. I am getting this uh, uh, its value from the web config file uh, con str connection string. And when this page will be loaded for the first time, then we are uh, loading, uh, we are getting the data uh, of for the grid view using get data method. So I here I am using edu.net code. In the real scenario, you can uh, simply call the business access layer method to get the data source of this grid view. And uh, then I have uh, uh, bind. Uh, I have called the data bind method that will actually bind the data to the grid view. I have not explained this uh, edu.net code because I have already explained in earlier videos. So now let me run this page. Okay, and here you will notice that my first uh, column is the select column. As you can see here, I had written my first column as the select column, and then remaining uh, columns are coming here. Yes, now uh, I am going to select these rows of the grid view using the, uh, the checkbox. So, for example, I have selected sixth, and then I have selected thirtieth. Uh, now, when I will click delete selected record uh, button, then what will happen is that it will call basically delete selected records uh, server side method so here is my uh, delete uh, selected record server side method and here what we are doing is that we are looping through uh, looping through the rows of the grid view and then we are uh, using the the row of the grid view we are finding the ch uh, checkbox that we have written here you can see that this is chk select and then uh, what we are doing is that we are uh, checking if the checkbox is checked if the checkbox is checked that it means that user wanted to delete that checkbox so uh, for that if the uh, checkbox is checked then for that particular record we are getting the auto id and then we are using that auto id to execute the delete select statement and here is the code I have already explained this edu.net code earlier so uh, using this edu.net code we are going to delete the record so now what will happen for example if I have checked uh, two uh, checkboxes here then uh, what will happen is that this csk.checked will be true for the two records only as you can see here for the remaining uh, uh, records uh, this checkbox will not be checked so it will not come into this particular block so now when I will click this delete selected record then uh, what will happen is that these two records will get deleted you can see here those two records has been uh, deleted auto id 6 and auto id 30 has been deleted 
and because I have called the get data method again, so the record is being repopulated uh, on on the page. 